Hey guys, it's me Minori. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so today I'm going to be painting on resin. I first saw Nerdforge do this on her channel and I thought it was gorgeous. And then I started to see a lot of other artists try this and I wanted to try it myself. And I've been wanting to do this for a very long time but I was kind of hesitant. I mean, it's a fairly big project. You need to make the mold yourself, and then you need to like use gallons of resin, which could be quite dangerous. So I wasn't too sure if I would be able to do the project, but then I found this on Amazon. Ta-da! Look at this mold. It's big, but sturdy, and I thought it was perfect for this project. I thought it was the perfect opportunity, so I bought it, and today I'm going to be painting on resin using anime style. You guys know me, anime style is my forte, and I want to see how it would look with an anime drawing. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Painting on resin in anime style. Let's get started. Okay, day one. I'm going to be making the first layer with some resin. As you can see, this is the mold that I'm going to be using. And by the way, my window is open. You always want the window open when you're using some resin. So I'm sorry if you hear like random noises, car sounds, voices from like outside. First off, I'm going to put some gloves on. Perfect. I'm going to measure the resin, mix it in, and pour it in here. I need a mix in a ratio of 1 to 2. And now I'm just going to pour it in. Okay, I don't think that's enough. So I guess I need to repeat this process again. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to put this aside until it completely hardens. Oh, it's quite heavy. So I put it aside and I'm going to let it rest. But before I move on, here I have four small molds. I'm just going to pour in the leftover resin. I'm going to use these to test some materials out. So I think that's it for today. Oh my gosh, look at my hands. It's covered with resin. So that's why you need gloves, guys. I'm going to clean everything up and I'll see you guys in 24 hours. Okay, pause. This video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. So, everyone's hair is unique. With Function of Beauty, you can actually make your very own shampoo and conditioner by taking their quiz. It's really easy. So this is their quiz. You first choose your hair type, mine is straight, medium, normal hair, and then choose up to five hair goals. I chose deep condition, shine, soothe scalp like my hair. I love how everyone says my bangs are perfect, but they are kind of wavy and super hard to work with. It also becomes oily, so I wanted to control my oils and hydrate at the same time. You can also change it to silicone-free formula, which I love, and you can also choose the fragrance, the color, and make it your very own shampoo. It's also dermatologist tested, no parabens, sulfates, 100% vegan, and cruelty-free, which is always a plus. I've been using it every single day ever since I got it and I have to say, I really really like it. I also bleached my hair inside, but it still feels really really soft. You can now get 20% off your first 16 ounce custom set when you click the link and get free shipping and more extra perks if you subscribe to them. To them, not to me. Thank you to Function of Beauty once again for sponsoring this video. And let's go back to the video. So this is day two and this is how it turned out. Completely solid. And my mini ones. So before I start painting on this like really big one, I wanted to test out some materials using my mini ones. I know sometimes resin kind of like dissolves some paint and messes up your artwork. So I want to see which kind of paint actually works with my resin. So first off here, I have some Posca paint pens and I'm just going to draw like really random stuff. So for this one, I'm just going to draw Baymax. I love how the surface is so smooth. It's so easy to paint on. And now I'm going to dry it completely. For my other ones, I want to try using my acrylic paint. Ta-da! So I've seen a lot of other people using acrylic paint for this technique. So I'm like 99.9% .9 sure these are going to work. But I still want to try them out just in case because I want to be like extra careful. So what should I draw for this one?
Again, I'm going to let it dry, and I think I'm going to work on my final one. And for my last one, I want to try using my new jelly paint. So squishy. For my last one, I don't really have a design in mind, so I'm just going to make some few strokes. And that's it. I also decided to use some Copic markers on top. And I made sure the drawings were completely dry and ready before I moved on. And it's time to make some resin again. So everything is completely dry. And now I'm going to pour resin on top. So now I'm going to wait for 24 hours and hopefully none of my artwork is going to be destroyed. So let's put this aside. And back to this really big art piece. I'm not going to draw anything on here today, but I want to make a new layer of resin. For this art piece, I decided to draw like a little mermaid. And I want the background to be the ocean and stuff, so I want to make a layer of blue resin. By the way guys, I already used a can of resin. So this is my second batch. And that's all I had, so I think I need to buy some more resin. So this art piece is actually like really expensive. Resin itself is already like $300. So here I have three bowls of resin and I'm going to color it in three different colors. So one is going to be lime green. Mix it in. One is going to be turquoise. And the last one is going to be aqua blue. So now I'm just going to pour in the three colors and hopefully I can make like a gradient effect. Here we go. I'm going to mix in a little bit more aqua blue and add on the very end. I think I'm done for today, so I'm going to let it rest for 24 hours again, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. By the way, as a bonus, I used up my leftover resin into my poppet mold. Good morning, guys! So this is the next day, and it's day 3. However, I worked on it last night, and it's around noon right now, so it's only been like 10 hours. So it's not like completely hard yet, but it's like hard enough to touch. So let's see how it turned out. So first my mini ones, and this is how they turned out. Hmm. So this is entry number one with the Posca paint pens, and I have to say, they turned out not bad. I'm actually really happy because I thought the Posca paint pens will dissolve. I see a little bit of cracking in the paint, but I mean, it's really not that bad. The Copic marker stayed put as well, so I think this is a success. So this is my first one. Entry number two with the acrylic paints. And this turned out perfect. Nothing changed, nothing dissolved. Perfect. I love it. And entry number three, the jelly paint. This, um, turned out the worst out of all. I mean, it's still not that bad, but I see like a few cracks here and there. And on some parts, I think the paint didn't really sit well on top of the resin. It's not super noticeable, but it's definitely not the best. So I think I'm not going to use any jelly paint for this project. And the reveal. <gasps> it's so pretty. I love it. This is actually really pretty. I love how transparent it is, how smooth it is. I mean, for my first try, not that bad. This one's really artistic. This is such a fun and easy project. I definitely recommend. And the last one. And this one isn't really part of the project, but I mean, I have leftover resin. It looks like a gummy bear, like a green gummy bear. So cute. This is how it's looking so far. So this is going to be the top part and the bottom part. And I think it's turning out really, really pretty. I started out painting using some acrylic, then I was like, nah. The good thing about this resin project is that once it's hard, you can actually wipe it off without ruining the lower layer. You just need to make sure that the resin is super hard. Oh, and if you guys know there are two types of resin. One is a UV type resin, which you can harden using UV light, and the other one is the one that I'm using right now, which you have to mix in two types of liquids. So they each have their own pros and cons. The UV type resin, you can cure it in a few minutes, which means you can actually finish the project in one day. You can make a layer, paint on it, make another layer, paint, and repeat those steps. So it's definitely a time saver. 
However, it's really expensive. It could easily cost up to like $800 to $1000 to fill up this mold. It also shrinks and kind of shrivels up. I really recommend using the UV type resin for smaller project. Lovey here. Where did my dog hair come from? Okay, so this is my background layer. They all kind of look like blobs right now, but it's because it's the last layer and it looks like it's inside the ocean. So now I'm going to put a layer of resin on top. The liquid type, it takes 24 hours or more to completely harden, but they won't shrivel up and are a lot cheaper. So today I decided to go with the mixing type. I'm going to add a little bit of turquoise and mix it in. And I'm just going to pour this on top. I'm going to move around the resin so it hits all corners. And with this leftover resin, I'm thinking of adding some glitter. And hopefully it makes the painting even cuter. Okay, I think we're done with this layer. It's getting really heavy. Since I have a little bit of leftover resin, I'm just going to pour it into the mini molds. This time, I think I'm only able to make one. Hey guys, so it is day five. Day five? Day four? I forgot. But it looks something like this. Ta-da! I think it's actually really, really pretty. I love the colors. I love the glitters. And it's like so heavy. Today is a very important day because I'm going to be drawing the main character on this layer. So this is going to be like the main, main layer. If I mess this layer up, I'm going to mess up the whole project. So like I need to pray or something. So I'm thinking of drawing like a mermaid in the center, like a mermaid princess. I don't have a rough draft or anything. It's all kind of in my head, but I'm just gonna go straight for it. Sometimes I do best without making any rough drafts. So let's see how it goes. By the way, this is how my mini one turned out. I decided to just like stick it onto the back of my Baymax piece. I think it's so pretty, but I'm having a lot of fun with all these like mini projects on the side. So, I actually had a hard time coming up with the design. I wanted to make it like a small mermaid in a chibi style with a big head and small body and make it look kind of like a fairy. But it took me a while to come up with the hairstyle, the coloring, so I actually took a nap right before this project so I can concentrate onto the painting more. I don't know, sometimes it really helps if I rest right before a project so my mind will be fresh. So I was taking a nap and right before I woke up, I got this vision. Like this girl just popped into my head and this girl had white hair with this wavy medium length hair and I was like, that's it. That's the girl I'm drawing. Like right before my nap, I was going to draw a girl with like a long white hair, which is like a very plain hairstyle, but this wavy hair just popped into my head. So that's what I went with. By the way, I think this is a YouTuber artist problem. But if you put the camera at the best angle, it means that we can't have a good look at the drawing while painting. If the camera is right above the painting, I will need to put my head like a foot away from the drawing, tilt it a little so it doesn't cover the camera. You can try it yourself, but it's really, really hard to draw from that angle. I always have a hard time drawing on camera so I can give you guys the best shot. But I noticed my drawing was becoming a little bit too wonky, so I decided to change the camera angle halfway through so I could get a better look at it. This camera problem is a constant trouble. So if you see an artist on YouTube giving you the best angle, please understand that the drawing is probably not going to be their best work ever. But this time, I wanted to take a little bit more time and make it into something that I would really like since this whole project cost like $500. $150 for the mold and $350 for the resin, which is a lot. Okay, I think I'm good with the mermaid for now. And now I want to draw a jellyfish right here so it looks like she's sitting on top of a jellyfish. So I've been painting for a few hours now and I think I'm done. So now I'm going to put a coat of resin on top and this time I'm going to make it like thick. So I'm going to use the rest of the resin that I have. So I want to be really, really careful with this because I don't want to mess up my drawing.
Okay, now I'm going to put it aside and wait for 24 hours. Hopefully it turns out okay. Crossing my finger, guys. Hey guys, so today is like day five, I think. Today is the last day that I'm going to be working on this project. It currently looks something like this. It's super, super heavy. I'm actually a little bit upset because the colors kind of faded away. Like the Copic markers, it's like completely gone. I really thought the Copic markers are going to stay because it worked for my mini ones, but it kind of got washed away. So um, there's no more details in her hair, her eyes, and a lot of places that I took a lot of time coloring, it's kind of gone. I mean, it's still okay, but I'm a tad a bit upset. But let's power through this, guys. So today, I'm going to do the last layer. So today, I'm going to be using a UV resin, and I'm going to mix it with white pigment. Not too much. And I'm going to pour in a little bit on this corner. I wanted to make this white ocean-like waves on the top, but this happened. <gasps> no. So my resin was going everywhere, and because my mind kind of stopped working after the mess, everything just got all messy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I accidentally made like a huge blob right here. I'm not too happy with this, but let's just keep on going. Next up, I'm going to use this. This is just like a really popular candy in Japan. I'm actually not going to use the candy itself, but I am going to use the wrapping. And now I'm just going to take it out from the wrapping. And here we have like a really cute circly thing, which I'm going to put it like so. And I'm going to put another one right here, here. And I'm going to top it off with a coat of resin. I'll see you guys in 24 hours. So it's been like two to three days, so it should be like completely solid by now. I wanted to wait until I knew that it's like completely done. Let's see how it turned out. <laughs> okay, I got all the sides out. A little bit more. Ta-da! <gasps> mm, okay. And the reveal. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Um, so final thoughts. I mean, this was a really big project. It took me a week. I mean, this was my first time using so much resin and I just messed up so many times, which I could use it as a lesson for my next project. I see a lot of bubbles, so I really need to be careful about like popping all the bubbles. Um, I'm really upset how the Copic marker just disappeared. I put a lot of details with the Copic markers, a lot more like shadows and highlights and everything. And it's just like completely gone. So next time, no Copic marker. I actually do really like how I added this like white thing on top, but I think I could have done it better. I do like how I added these like extra textures just to make it like more 3D, but I think I could have done better. Please give me a thumbs up and a comment below if you want to see this again because I had a really fun time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!